Hi there, Chris Kellett here with our first Muse Live um, recording. And uh, today we are going to show you some updates on the Capture app from, uh, that comes with Adobe Creative Cloud. And we're going to show you how you can use it with Muse to create um, color swatches. So bringing up my iPhone here, we can see that in Capture, if you've never seen it before, you can actually use it to use your camera and create brushes, patterns, color palettes, and so on. But what we're going to look at today is um, a new, some new functionality that allows you to add color swatch files from the camera. So we're going to bring up colors here. So I've opened the app and I've clicked on colors and I'm going to click the plus button here and choose my camera. Now when my camera screen comes up, I'm just going to point it at some, here we go, let's capture a, a color scheme from our Muse card here. There we go, that'll do. And once we've selected that, we can look at it in its different color formats and we can also change the, the look and go through different sets to see which one we like the most. So I'm going to go for just, I think I'll go, I actually like this triad one here. So I'm going to select that and click next. And I'll call it, uh, let's just leave the settings as they are. And the library that I'm going to choose is the 123v3 library. That's, I, I could select another library, but I'm just going to select that one for now and make it discoverable. And it's showing me the image that the colors from, the color schemes from as well. So let's save that color scheme. Now we're going to jump into Muse now. So I'm going to close my phone down, open up Muse and create a, a whole new site here. And go into the page. And we can see that our color scheme is already here and available to us. However, if we want to use that right now, now I'm not entirely sure why this is the case with um, Adobe CC at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be fixed in the future, but I'm going to show you how to use these colors all at once in, um, in Muse. So I'm going to delete all of the unused swatches, so we've just got the basics here. And if I wanted to add a color now, if I hover over the particular color I want, right click and add to swatches, and we've added that swatch color into the site there. Okay, but I actually want to add all of these swatches at once. So we're gonna go back to the, my iPhone, go back to Capture. I'm gonna click on the color swatch library set, click the share button, and now we have, uh, this is a new feature in Adobe Capture where I can export the ASC file, the swatch file. So I'm going to select ASC, and then I'm going to select where I want to upload it to. Now, I. Although I could try and upload it to Creative Cloud right now, it wouldn't upload the ASC file. I'm not entirely sure why, but it won't. So I've got a workaround for that. So what I'm gonna do instead is I've got my Google Drive installed on my device here, and I'm going to click Add to Google Drive, and then save that in my account. So now that's in my Google Drive, what I can do now is go back into Muse, right click on the um, the swatches panel here, select import swatch library, and then go to my Google Drive. Should be in here. Showing up in just one second, I'm sure. There we go. And we'll select the color theme and click open. And now all of the color swatches have been added to Muse and ready to use. So what I did, just going through the workflow, I used my phone to capture the colors. I then changed the color set that I wanted to match the color scheme I wanted. I, it's saved into CC libraries, but I can add each color individually via the swatches. But instead of that, I saved out the ASC file and then uploaded it to Google Drive or any drive you can, can install on your device and then imported it into Muse. So it's a quick little simple tutorial on how to use uh, capture to generate color schemes for Muse. I hope you've enjoyed this live show and we hope to bring you many more and thanks for watching.